it's Paul from Obilink International, um, back by popular demand. I think uh, one person's just wondering where I am counts as popular demand, at least on my planet anyway. Um, so today uh, I'm going to have uh, just making three videos today, which will get released over the next little bit. Um, the first one is basically stuff, it's to do with the shop. Um, we're going to have uh, some stuff from a company from China called Heavy Hobby. Uh, they do basically 3D printing. So we've got a few bits I'm going to have a, a look at, just a quick look at. And by the time you watch this video they will already be on the, on the store. Uh, I'll put a link to those underneath in the video. They'll. Uh, we've also got some stuff ordered that's going to be with Kenny in maybe a month or so. Um, these days international shipping it'll be with Kenny in one to whatever months um, whenever it gets there it gets there um, so anyway have a look at that stuff it's pretty neat 3d printing actually that seems to be coming a thing these days I notice that Flyhawk are doing 3d printing in their kits I think uh, Verifier are starting to look at stuff as well like that so you're probably going to start seeing more 3D printing stuff actually in your kits. Um, and obviously in the aftermarket world as well, it's starting to replace uh, resin uh, castings of things. Anyway, um, have a look at the stuff. So you like, have a look at the stuff on the shop. Um, that's just what we've got so far, just a few pieces. Um, link down there to subscribe to the channel. Uh, to get notified of future videos, mostly from Kenny, sometimes from me as well. Um, anyway, go have a look, see what you think. Okay, so this is what we've got, so let's see what we've got. There's an upgrade set for for uh, Kitten, Kitten Craft Red, um, update for Mobile Wagon 37mm and here Craft uh, Tank, a couple of tracks, um, storage on a Panther, clamps, uh, fire extinguishers, and a vehicle tool set all for German stuff. In fact, I think everything here is actually for German stuff. Apart from this, which is for uh, Sherman. So, we'll have a look at the first one now. Okay, so this is uh, Sherman Periscope Guards. So, inside this box, inside this bag is a little box. Need. In the first glance you can see just how fine detail these are. And they're wrapped wrapped in foam as well, so let's see if I can get these out of here without breaking too much. Okay, so there's two of them in there. And these are really, really fine. Um, so there's about 1, 2, 3, 12, 24 of them in total. Um, yeah, so those will look really nice. You'll have to, I think, dismantle this around to, to get them out, but just because they're, they're so finely printed, but those are pretty damn neat. Next up, uh, tool set, the usual tools that you see on the side of a Panther. Just open up the box, something on the back, just a QR code. Another one of those. Fancy plastic boxes, wrapped in foam. And again, this is really nicely printed stuff in there. You can see the supports underneath. Supports are all on the back side, um, so they'll be against the hull of the tank, so they won't be seen at all. But yeah, those are really nicely printed, really well packaged. And there's a lot of detail on there as well. All the um, attachment points are in there. Uh, the clamps and such like. 
And then you can see here there's some other small parts there as well. Not totally sure what these are. Oh, there's only something else in the box apart from another piece of foam to stop this box moving around. But uh, yeah, so those are good as well. So I'll have a look at these two at the same time. Um, obviously all this is all 135th scale stuff. Fire extinguishers. Yeah. Usual box. This looks like a small decal sheet uh, as well. And there's all your fire extinguishers. And it looks like this. So there's 14 of those clamps as well. Um, so you can make up. Yeah. So it actually says, looking at it, it says 14 items on the box, but I see 10. There's five with the clamps on them. Uh, four clamps and five without clamps so you can sort of do some mixing and matching there but uh, still the printing is really very nice and all the bits that are gonna the uh, the supporting points for when they printed are all on the back of them again so that's all pretty good so there's clamps for uh, it just says World War II German tanks 135th um, so there's five pieces, but I think it's a lot more than five, maybe five different styles is probably what I'm trying to say. So, right up. Oop. There you go, there's definitely more than five clamps in there. Um, was there 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, so probably closer to 40 uh, clamps in there, various sorts. Again, very finely printed. Supports are on the back side. Probably end up using a scalpel to remove those from here. But um, really nicely done. Okay, tools. Storage bucket A for Panthers A and House A and D. Basically, this is where the gun cleaning rods would be. Um, and here, so it says three pieces, one thirty fifth scale. So let's see what's actually in the box. So that's what you got. So I guess this. So I was right there, there's actually three parts in there. So it looks like there's a complete um, tube at the top there. Again printed so that everything, all the support points will be out of sight after you've cleaned it up. And I think this one is for making an open tube. Now if you can see just in there, this end of the print is open. And the end of the tube is the other end of the tube is down there so you can actually have uh, this one open on there's another end down at the bottom left there as well again very nicely printed I like the support the uh, protection around it so it can't get damaged and yeah that's can't feel anything on there can't see any um, should say a print artifact, you know, like lines and things, print lines. So it's all oh, that's really neat. So a couple of types of tracks to look at. Um, Panzer three, four tracks and Tiger one early tracks. So let's look at the Panzer three or four tracks first. So we have these are the pins. Let's take one out. 
So yeah, a whole heap of pins. Obviously you'd dismantle the box and set those all loose. And then I'll just grab a couple. And these are the tracks. And they're very nicely done indeed. Solid units, you don't have to do anything with them other than put them together like that and then put one of these pins through them. You can see the pin holes on the end there. And you know, basically, you'd make a completely realistic tracks that will bend any direction. On their website they actually have a picture of somebody basically I think it's, it's I can't remember what tank it is but they've done the tracks and they're just rolling it along the desk and you can see the tracks are actually moving and rolling with the wheels and um, conforming to whatever they they run over so these are pretty neat in fact they almost sort of hold themselves together just as you put as you click them together so they're yeah, really neat, very nice detail. So, pretty damn good. And what I can say it says there's 230 pieces. So, I'm guessing that the grand total of all the parts here is 230, rather than saying there's 230 links in there, because I think 230 links seems a tad much. Okay, and then thanks for uh, Tiger One, early version, 210 pieces. I think that's 210 pieces of printed material. Yeah, the, look at these. Some of these seem to have been, they're not bent, I don't think, they just just moved around a little bit in shipping. Um, yeah, you can spread these out a bit to mess with them. So, same thing, um, basically, same thing as before. A couple of these, oh, get a couple of these. That and that, clip them together, and then as before, run a pin through the end there. And there's your pins. I can put a pin through each side, by the looks of it, one on each side. And I can't see, there's nothing. The printing is really, really good quality printing, and there's nothing on them to indicate that they've actually been printed. And those are pretty damn good. This is a bunch of stuff that's a detail upset for a mobile vacuum 3.7 centimeter flak on a Panzer 4. 118 different parts in here. So bigger box this time. So let's see what we've got. There's Photo edge sheet, and then in here there's brass barrel, a new exhaust for the Panzer IV chassis. And that seems to have basically it's, it's come pre-damaged, if you know what I mean. These things were forever sort of getting wrinkly. Yeah, you can see where they printed it, and then they've cleaned that off. It's only because that's the side that's way against the tank. There's a few little wrinkles in there, as you'd as you'd expect from a Panzer IV exhaust. And a just like a stainless steel uh, new 
gun barrel with a flash suppressor on the end with some you can see that there's a little hole, really tiny little holes in there so it's those and this is uh, basically a net cage to catch a spent ammunition I think and that's and there's more parts on the bottom as well it's like all manner of um, like lifting lugs so there's all sorts of pieces in there and that's a really fine printed 3d mesh there that's pretty damn good uh, ammunition um, some of it's complete so I think it looks like there's some here with the tips removed I think that's for arming them I think this here is uh, which were quite weird at all going here but it doesn't actually show you where they are but their website will show you um, where these are all fitted and when we list these I'll stick a load of images on there so you'll be able to see exactly where they go just obviously to replace kit parts there's lots of fine it's like brackets holders um, guards on here and they do seem to be numbered in the bottom there and then here tools um, had a few of them this is replace all the tools that sit on the side of the side of the tank but uh, these are ni very nicely detailed a bit more detail than you see in plastic so yeah there's fire extinguishers tools cable cutters shovel pickaxe uh, looks like a replacement headlamp and axe so all pretty all pretty neat indeed so it is a basically like a complete upgrade set other than maybe just tracks and then oh, last but not least um, basically an upgrade set for 135th um, Kleiner's Ket and Craft Rad um, kit there's a few bits in here so take out the foam and what we have is 3d printed parts and also more photo etch this is from Voyager and this is for the Tamiya 35377 uh, kit so I think there's some sort of working relationship between Heavy Hobby and Voyager um, not just because of this but because of some other things as well I've noticed in talking to them um, so there's the full instructions and here we have Okay, so this is, I believe, new tracks. So I'll just undo this. Okay, so instructions. These instructions cover basically all the photo etch. Um, so they cover all of this, and I'll put some images up that on the. Uh, the website that will show exactly what it all covers but there's a lot of stuff gets replaced in here there's three pages of instructions on replacing those or replacing parts and adding more details you also get these are new tracks for the, for the kit and craft rad uh, so those two packs of these are so those go in place from this I'm not totally sure working out how they all fit together but they must um, two new drive wheels There's really nice detail on these so the, obviously the back is you can see that's where it was supported when it was printed but there's lots of detail on there a couple of new uh, no-tech headlights 
other small parts and here a couple of a uh, couple of new rifles to replace the ones in the kits and that's it so that's basically the sort of stuff that you'll get from heavy hobby um, really nicely printed stuff actually very fine details um, comes very well protected in basically in boxes boxes have got foam in and they're not quite often there's foam around the boxes as well um, and we're going to start listing these on the shop um, and hopefully uh, hopefully you'll enjoy them thanks very much